Before I start this, this show is loaded with characters. Most of them you won't care about, so I'll only go through the important ones. Rick is a cop who becomes leader of his group. Lori's his wife. Carl's his son. Shane's his best friend who has anger issues. Dale's a wise old man with a moral compass. Andrew's a blonde girl who learns to become tough. Glenn's a psychic, and Daryl is awesome. On to the summary. This cop named Rick gets shot, wakes up from his coma, and finds zombies. He then goes to Atlanta to find more zombies. Rick gets saved by Glenn and meets a bunch of people. He punches a redneck, covers himself in guts, and leaves. Rick finds his wife Lori, his son Carl, and his best friend Shane, who's secretly sleeping with his wife. Gasp! He meets another redneck named Daryl, who's so awesome he's getting his own video game, and is also the brother of the redneck Rick punched. They find the angry redneck cut off his hand. The camp gets attacked by zombies and a bunch of people die, including Andrea's sister. The group then goes to a CDC facility, only for it to blow up. The group starts going someplace else, only for Sophia to run off and Carl to get shot. Stupid kids. Rick brings his son to a farm run by an old dude named Herschel. Herschel says he could fix Carl, but needs medicine, so Shane goes to save the day. He sucks at saving the day and gets stuck in high school. To escape, Shane kills a fat guy. Everyone else searches for Sophia. They're still searching for Sophia. Glenn hooks up with the farmer's daughter, Maggie. Lori's pregnant. Carl's okay, Sophia's not, and Daryl's so awesome he gets shot in the face and lives. Rick and Shane talk about leaving Sophia. Glenn finds the barn is full of zombies. What a twist! Herschel says the barn full of zombies were his family and friends and doesn't want them killed. The group finds out about the barn full of zombies and wants them killed. Shane goes into a roid rage and leads everyone in killing some zombies, only to find Sophia's a zombie. What a twist! Rick shoots her. Everyone's upset and they decide to get a drink at the bar. Lori drives to find her husband for some reason and wrecks her car. Women, am I right? The guys fight some rednecks and more zombies before one of the rednecks, Randall, hurts his leg. Rick decides to save him and everyone else hates him for it. Shane and Rick argue over what to do with Randall. They fight each other and then they fight zombies. Carl doesn't stay inside the house and wanders around. Rick decides to shoot Randall but chickens out at the last moment. Dale gets eaten by a zombie and shot by Daryl. Shane goes bonkers, kills Randall, and then tries to kill Rick. Rick kills him, Shane turns into a zombie, and then Carl shoots him. Double kill. Turns out you don't need to be bitten by a zombie to turn into a zombie after you die. What a twist! The farm gets attacked by a massive horde of zombies. A bunch of people you don't care about die, and everyone runs away. Andrea gets saved by a mystery character with a katana, who's going to be awesome in Season 3. Just trust me on this. Rick establishes himself as leader, stating it's not a democracy anymore. It's a dictatorship. The season closes with a shot of the prison that will be the focus of Season 3.